Alleluia. 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 Victory is all what we want. Alleluia is an heaven language. An Alleluia song we never say so our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy New Day. October 31, 2022. Month end. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. We bless you for giving us the grace to witness this day. Father, we appreciate you for all you have done for us throughout the month. We bless your name again. Father, have your mercy on us, O oh Lord. Bless us. Don't let us be ashamed. And let us have a mouth to rejoice at the end of the day. In Jesus' name, Amen. The topic before this morning is dealing with demon-possessed people. Dealing with demon-possessed people. Our memory flash and may find the book of Hebrew, 12, verse 24. I read, And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of speaking that speaketh better things than that of Abel, and to the Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of speaking that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Not everybody you see walking around is normal. Many are possessed by demons. Some people are addicted to fornication. Some are observed with material things. Some spend time in places where demons operate, like nightclubs and so on. Such people are very likely to be demon possessed. There are ways in which you can know if someone is demon possessed. However, the best way to ascertain whether someone is demon-possessed is by the gift of designing of spirits. In any case, if you suspect that somebody is demon-possessed and you have to do anything with that fellow, then you need to cover yourself in the blood of Jesus always. The blood of Jesus marks you as untouchable to forces of darkness. By covering yourself in the blood of Jesus, you are affirming that you belong to him and therefore they must stay away from you. This can also go for your property. You can cover all your possession with the blood of Jesus and then tell the devil not to go near them. If for example you have a staff, you suspect demon possessed and the fellow has refused to surrender his or her life to Christ. In order to surrender that demo, don't have any influence over your business. Then, you must always plead the blood of Jesus over it. In Exodus 12, verse 13, God told the Israelites, says, And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the house where you are, and when I say the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Whatever is covered in the blood of Jesus is too hot for them to touch. Cover anything connected to, your, to you, including your children. With the blood of Jesus, you don't know the kind of friend they will meet and play with in school or even the kind of teacher that will be teaching them. So, you need to cover everything you do with the blood of Jesus. And the goodness of God will be upon your life in Jesus' name. Brethren, our prayer point for today, I cover myself, my loved one, and all that consign me with the blood of Jesus. 
father. I cover myself, my loved one, and all that consign me with the blood of Jesus. Beloved, I want us to read the book of Revelation 12 verse 11 and our Bible in one year, Luke 11 verse 12. Our hymn is in 23, that wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. Let me sing later. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. There is no other name that I know. The blessing of the Lord will never leave you and your loved one in Jesus' name. Brethren, this is Love Word. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, and God bless you as you are doing so. Have a nice day. Stay blessed and bye for now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.